Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. This measure isn't just a penalty uh, against work; it's also a penalty against uh, parenthood. It is quite clear that there is a divergence of view in this house. People on the other side have a view about how policy should support family and support children that is at complete variance uh, with mine. We heard from the Chancellor on the day of the budget that we on the Conservative benches know that the wish to pass something on to your children is about the most basic human and natural aspiration there is. Feeding children is an even more basic aspiration than that. Nurturing children, giving them warmth when they need it. Somebody being able to have the aspiration to work and bring home food to their children and support their family. Those are people who are going to be hit by the measures that the party opposite is bringing in, because it is people who are working and working very hard and trying to do the best by their children and for their neighbours. They are the people who are betrayed by uh, this measure. I do not uh, accept the nonsense that we heard from some honourable members, with some uh, exceptions uh, opposite, who were more or less trying to tell us that low-paid workers should now be the acceptable casualties of a dogmatic imperative of austerity. They should not. Nor do I accept the somewhere over the rainbow nonsense that some of them are giving us, that, oh, it's all going to work out well and it will be so swimming and people are going to be so much better off when they see what they are going to get. It is quite clear that the way in which these measures are being brought forward, people are going to suffer in the meantime. People will also lose jobs as well as lose income, because some of us are hearing from employers in some sectors that they will not be able to do uh, the pay increases without uh, doing damage to the payroll that they currently uh, have. But members opposite need to realise that labels that they put on this, all the clichés they come up with, aren't going to give a buying power to the fact to the money that they are leaving people with. And clichés will not be hard currency to support families who have been driven into poverty. Louise Hague. 